So when you walk into Yorktown Elementary, it's our goal that every student, every family would feel welcomed and engaged in our school community. Uh, we want to partner with our families to give the best opportunities to our kids to be global learners. We want to help them set them up for success later in life. We, we know that they need to be able to collaborate and communicate. So when you walk into classrooms, that's what I hope you see. We believe that students should have the freedom to explore and discover for themselves all of the many answers that are out there to life's problems. The things that we offer here at Yorktown Elementary are things that I personally, I had not even engaged with and I think it's amazing because it's the future. It really is. Lots of children have lots of technology, but our school is giving them technology that they don't have at their house. It's giving them something that's different and exciting for them to use, and it's also teaching them in the world. Now you have so many video game programmers, so many people that use different kinds of technology, so we're giving them the avenue now to pursue, pursue some of the careers that they want to have when they get older. I would personally like to be an, some type of engineer when I grow up because of how much it has made me to like think around a problem and understand really what I'm doing with the concepts of math, science, technology, and engineering. And then also I've joined the Lego League Club at this school and that has really used more of my math and engineering thinking skills and technology. One of the things that we have now is Project Lead the Way and that is a program where the children come in and they go to the STEM lab and they get real world experience with teamwork and planning and doing some different STEM activities. Students were given the challenge to build a cooler that would keep a ice pop frozen for an hour under a heat lamp. This was a second grade project. So they were, were defining what their limits were for their project and determining what kind of materials they thought would work best. And then they were given materials and a set, a fixed number of things that they could get. And they had to work with their team to build a, a diagram of what they were going to do. And they had to agree with their partner. So they had to do some negotiating and some a lots of collaboration and you know cooperation going on in order to settle on what project they were going to actually build. And then they got their materials and they were on their own. So I try to give as much control as I can to the students. I give them direction, I give them the parameters, but I want them to experience that. They have to solve some of that themselves. I got to do the project where you had to build a car and you actually had to put an egg in it and you had to roll down a ramp and you had to make sure that the egg didn't crack. We actually learned about friction and velocity and that actually helped me because when we are designing a car, it'll be like an engineer when you're going to build something and it'll teach you patience and all that and you have to retry and retry and learn from your mistakes. It's cool because they are also reading. They're, they're, um, they're measuring, they're, they're incorporating their math skills here. Um, and the ideas come from other teachers like Miss Westland. Um, she'll have ideas, but she'll also ask us uh, uh, for strategies or what we're currently learning or what we would like to see, which has been amazing. Uh, just because, I mean, the kids are gonna learn so much more when you have more minds coming together. We work very hard with our teachers and with our STEM coach to incorporate the engineering design process in learning as well as the scientific inquiry process. The STEM program, in my mind, is invaluable for, for little girls and little boys. I have three daughters and my oldest, Allie, uh, she saw the uh, part about Yorktown and being able to play with the robots and the science and all that part and she just fell in love. She's like, Mom, I want to go there. That is where I want to go to school.